Once again and welcome to another reading of Rhapsody of Realities. Glory be to God. Today, our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, Fasting Helps to Maintain Spiritual Focus. Our opening scripture is from the book of Acts chapter 13 verse 3 and it reads, And when they had fasted and prayed and laid their hands on them, they sent them away. Hallelujah. There are several spiritual blessings and benefits of fasting and one of them is that it helps you maintain spiritual focus. It involves putting away food, but it's not just about abstinence from food, but all forms of distraction for the time being. This helps your spirit to become more sensitive to the Spirit of God. You become more conscious of His leading within your spirit. At such times, when your heart and mind are turned away from the things of this world onto the Lord, it becomes easy for you to receive His guidance. If you are going to be spiritually alert and walk spiritually, you should fast from time to time. That means to center your attention on the Lord for the time. By doing this, your spirit gains the ascendancy. When you want to deal with certain important things of the Spirit or you are studying the Word, You want to have the insight and sensitivity of the Spirit fast. Through fasting and prayer, your effectiveness in the things of the Spirit is improved. Your ability to hear and receive from God is sharpened. And you are more attuned to the finer signals and instructions of the Spirit that you need for a higher level of life. A life of continuous glory and success. Hallelujah. Now, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are, kindly raise your hand and take this prayer right after me. Dear Father, my spirit is attuned to your leading, guidance, promptings, direction, and voice within me. I am receptive and responsive to you as you guide me to walk in and fulfill your perfect will today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. And as always, my brothers and sisters, I would strongly recommend that you do take some time to study and meditate on these following scriptures. From the book of Joel, chapter 1, verse 14, the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 12, and the book of Luke, chapter 2, verses 36 to 37. Glory be to God. So now you know, my brothers and sisters, if there's anything that you want or if there's a situation that you are facing and you want to hear from the Lord clearly without no distraction, fast. Not just from food, but from the other things that you always do. For example, if you love your phone too much, fast from your phone. If you love TV too much, fast from your TV. Fast from the things that take your attention away. Fast from them so that you can give your 110% attention to the Lord. Glory be to God. See you again tomorrow. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me 
I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. Rhapsody of realities Give me your life for meaning Every day my life made perfect with Rhapsody.